हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायो केमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ बायो केमिस्ट्री दैट इज व्हाई मसल ग्लाइकोजन डज नॉट कंट्रीब्यूट टू द ब्लड ग्लूकोज लेवल फर्स्ट आई टेल यू द ग्लाइकोजन इज ए स्टोरेज फॉर्म ऑफ ग्लूकोज विच नॉर्मली वी स्टोर ग्लूकोज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन इन आर बॉडी इन द एनिमल बॉडी सो दीज ग्लाइकोजन आर गोइंग टू बी स्टोर्ड इन टू डिफरेंट ऑर्गन्स सिंथेसाइज बाय टू इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन अदर ऑर्गन्स आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सिंथेसाइज बट मेनली बाई टू ऑर्गन दैट इज लीवर एंड मसल मैक्सिमम सिंथेसिस डन इन द लीवर एंड सम पोर्सन इज गोइंग टू बी सिंथेसाइज इन मसल ऑल्सो सो वेन एवर वी आर हैविंग अ हाइपोग्लाइसेमिक कंडीशन और बॉडी डज नॉट हैव सफिशियंट अमाउंट ऑफ ग्लूकोज दैट टाइम दीज ग्लाइकोजन इज गोइंग टू बी ब्रोकन डाउन एंड provides the glucose to the blood circulation so that glucose level will come to the normal value normal concentration now this glycogen should come from muscle and the liver but it is not coming from the muscle that is the reality it is coming only from the liver so why what is the exact reason so first we will see the what is glycogen and then we will talk about the synthesis and degradation process and then ultimately see the what is the exact reason so if you see the glycogen which is a storage form of uh, glucose in animal body similar thing plant doing in the form of starch and both are homopolysaccharide of glucose molecule this glycogen going to be stored mainly in our liver that is roughly 6 to 8% by weight and 1 to 2% in muscles because in our body we are having more muscle mass so that's why even it is 1 to 2% but by weight it is more than 250 grams and in the liver even it is 1 to 6 to 8 percent but because we are having limited only one liver and a limited mass so it is only 75 gram glycogen stored in this cytoplasm their synthesis and degradation both occurs in the cytoplasm it means all the enzyme which is required for the synthesis and the degradation of glycogen is present in the cytoplasmic fraction of the cell this is a homopolysaccharide which is composed of alpha d glucose and it is a branched molecule it means it is having two types of branching two types of bonds alpha 1 4 bonds when glycogen will be in the straight chain and at the branching point it is having alpha 1 6 glycosidic bond this is the uh, reaction which shows the gly glycogen synthesis starting from the glucose and ultimately go to the glycogen so there are many different enzymes we require many different steps are there so first it starts with the glucose glucose converted to glucose 6 phosphate by a normal gly glucokinase or exokinase then this glucokinase is converted to uh, isomerized to glucose 1 phosphate by phosphoglucose uh, mutase this glucose 1 phosphate reacts with utp and glucose molecule will be transferred to the utp and it gives us udp glucose this is the ultimate substrate for the glycogen synthesis then this udp glucose come transfer this glucose molecule to the glycogenin which is a protein uh, multiple times and lastly the most important enzyme of the glycogen synthesis that is glycogen synthase comes which is a bi functional enzyme means two fun enzymes will be there one is glycogen synthase and second one is branching enzyme and ultimately we are going to get glycogen molecules this is the synthesis process similarly when we are going to degrade there are many steps are there the first and the most important enzyme of glycogen degradation is glycogen phosphorylase which removes the glucose molecule from the non reducing end of glycogen so many glucose will be removed and that will be in the form of glucose 1 phosphate this reaction is called as phosphorylation reaction because phosphate is going to restart the reaction then a by functional enzyme comes that is called as debranching enzyme which is having two function one is called as transferase and second one is called as alpha 16 glucosidase these two enzymes normally breaks the glucose molecules from the branches and ultimately we will have a straight chain then again glucose uh, gl glycogen phosphorylase comes and which removes all the glycogen ultimately we will have a normal glucose 1 phosphate so here we are going to get maximum we are going to get glucose 1 phosphate but that glucose 1 phosphate cannot be used directly or it cannot go out of the cells so if you want this glucose 1 phosphate to come out of the cells we need to convert or glucose 6 phosphate come out of the cells we need to convert them into glucose because this glucose 6 phosphate or glucose 1 phosphate cannot exit from the plasma membrane now for this conversion this glucose 6 phosphate have multiple uses either directly it can go for glycolysis it can go for hexose monophosphate stunt it can directly uh, go for glycolysis also and otherwise it will be transferred to the glucose converted to the glucose by glucose 6 phosphatase their phosphate will be removed 
and then this glucose will be going out of the cells into the blood circulation. This is the normal process of degradation. So if you see the what are the different enzymes we require. So enzymes of glycogen synthesis are glucokinase, uh, phosphoglucomutase, UDP glucose phos phosphopyro uh, phosphorylase, glycogen synthase and branching enzyme. These two are the bifunctional enzymes or part of the same enzyme. Then when we are talking about the enzymes of glycogen breakdown, so glycogen phosphorylase, debranching uh, transferase enzymes, alpha 1,6 glucosidase enzyme, phosphoglucomutase and glucose 1,6 phosphatase. All these enzymes, whatever we are talking about 10 enzymes, these enzymes are present in the cytoplasmic fraction of the liver. In this case, there is one enzyme which is missing in the muscle. Now, if you will say the fate of glucose 6 phosphate, whatever glucose 6 phosphate we have produced, it depends on the tissue. How it, de it depends on the tissue? In the liver, kidney and in intestine, they contains glucose 6 phosphatase, which convert glucose 6 phosphate to glucose. Means this glucose 6 phosphate can be converted to glucose, and this glucose can go out of the cells, can go for different purposes. Whereas this in the muscle and in the brain, uh, they don't use this enzyme, they don't have this enzyme, glucose 6 phosphate is absent in those cases. So, they cannot convert this glucose 6 phosphate into the glucose, muscle and the brain. Means they contain this glucose 6 phosphate in this form only and they can use this glucose 6 phosphate in this form only. They never convert it. So, therefore, liver is the major glycogen storage organ which provides you glucose into the circulation by utilizing the various tissue. Because liver synthesizes maximum glycogen, so maximum glucose comes from the liver only. Kidney and intestine synthesizes only a small fractions. Muscle is another major tissue which synthesizes glycogen, but they cannot convert it. So these are the different aspects by which uh, why liver can provide only glucose. Muscle is not able to provide glucose to the blood circulation even in any condition, even in hypoglycemic condition. So hope you will understand. So thank you very much. If you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it.